This next question comes from Gary W. from St. Louis. Oh, I recognize that name. Yeah, yeah. He wants to know about color profiles. What are you working in? Why? All right, that's a good one. So I think the industry has uh, a standard when it comes to color profiles. It's hashtag no color profiles. No, no, definitely color profiles. De oh, definitely. Yes, hashtag okay. use, use, what? Hashtag color profiles. Yeah. Hashtag Adobe RGB. You can't not use a color profile. Yeah, it's important. You can, you, yeah. well, yeah, you, well. Then you wouldn't be, kind of, be touching. Yeah, you kind of. Then you'd be working for Dove. <laughs> <laughs> Back to the Dove reference. You yeah. still can't get over that, can you? No. Yeah, Dove doesn't use, I mean, they did, they used retouching. I had retouching. to take a five minute break yeah. after that last yeah. one. It was a, little, a lot to handle. Yeah. But color profiles, I use Adobe RGB for my color. No, no pro photo. No pro photo. Do you know why? I don't know why. That's why I asked. That's why I'm educating you today. Yeah. Pro photo has a higher gamut. Okay. But right now our monitors can we can't see that gamut really right now. But we can run it. We can run it. Yeah. But what what happens when you if you work in pro photo and you're done retouching and then you like I don't know, put it somewhere. You let's say you convert to like sRGB after you're done working pro photo. It's gonna change. Because you don't know what you were looking at before. So when you convert to a profile that's readable, you're gonna see the actual, like, you know, what you thought it was, but it wasn't. It's, it switches quite a bit. So that's why I use Adobe RGB, because, um, you know, it's industry standard. It has, most of the monitors now seem to be going that route of showing 100% of the Adobe RGB gamut, or as close, as close enough. And it converts easier to sRGB, it's more friendly. It's like so your friendly neighbor. why do we even have the pro photo? Because we'll probably get there. So we probably will we get will. there. I have, I have faith we'll get there. So I can't tell the difference. You can't. You can, if you were to sit down at two computers, could you tell the difference? No, because your monitor's not displaying it, that's why. I'm so confused. Yeah, don't worry. So the takeaway is use Adobe RGB, and for me, I just go about my client. Does this relate to printing in any way? Um, it, yes, it can, because a lot of printers will, also, it also determines what, what you're gonna use. Like, I'll give you an example. A lot of photographers will say, you know, send me the file, Adobe RGB, a TIFF file, and I'll do that, and then, you know, they do whatever they need to do for the printing purposes. But if I set a pro photo RGB file for printing, and then they print it, it's gonna look really messed up, and then I get the blame. So, I just use Adobe RGB. How often are you getting the blame for things? Oh, not often, because I, I pay attention and listen. I'm a good listener. That's what about with you and Bella? I you get a lot for for some reason I'm very wrong on many occasions with her. I don't know why. I don't. I'm always right, so I don't understand how that can happen. Yeah. The only time you've ever been wrong was the time you thought you were wrong. Exactly. That's. Yep. I told her that, but that she didn't believe it. I said, "Ask Gary. Check, check with him. He's my client." <laughs> so there you go. So it's color spaces. Let's talk a little bit more about color spaces. Okay. Let's talk about the the web. Yeah. How do we get to the web correctly? What you should do with your color space is once you're done retouching and you're- Or done not retouching. Or not, or no, hashtag no retouching. Hashtag no whatever retouching. Whatever you're not retouching or- re, iPhone only. Whatever you're touching, yep. don't touch it again. And then um, export it as an sRGB file for the web. And the reason for that is it's safe. Like all browsers will read sRGB. Um, they won't mess up. Some browsers do read Adobe RGB as well, but for now, just keep it to sRGB. So, so do you export for the web for Facebook on the export for the web for on Facebook? Or I are you do. doing full? Um, no, not full res. I'll actually downsize it. So I'll, I like to manually downsize. Just but why, why downsize it if it's going to Facebook? Because it compresses it for you. So the less co compression you give Facebook to do, the less it'll actually compress. If you upload like a full res file, um, it'll try to compress it down and the size is so big. So I try to resize it to like uh, 2048 on the long end, 2048 pixels on the long end. Are you going, are you moving the quality slider? Or are you keeping it a, a, keeping it a hundred? Hundred? Hundred. No, hundred. Hundreds. Yeah, you messed that keeping up. Keeping it hundreds. <laughs> I got Nine, there though. I would, I would do it about 85%. What? 85 to 90%. But why? Do you know why? No, I don't know why. Okay. That's why I'm asking. So the reason for that is, <laughs> Gary's confused right now. I'm a little bit confused too actually. No, so sRGB, I resize it down to 2048 pixels, but also the quality goes about 85 to 90. The reason for that is the file size itself. So if, let's say it's like three megabytes initially. It'll go down to, you know, whatever it is. But it'll go down enough. Kilobytes. Yeah, kilobytes. kilobytes. Oh yeah, yeah, exactly. Kilobytes. So it'll go down quite a bit. Tiny bits. Tiny bits, just a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Little tiny bits. So okay. then you so upload why, to Facebook. Why, 24, why 2048? Because Facebook will actually uh, it prefers that they tell you if you upload 2048, they're gonna compress it less than if you do it to another size, which then looks really shitty. 
So it's then you're going to JPEG. Yeah. JPEG. Why not PNG? There's less compression on PNG. There is, but Facebook converts it as well to JPEG. At the so end they're of the just going to be like, we're going to press this even more. But you know what you should do, Gary? You should, only you, you should upload both PNG and JPEG and see what happens as a test. Do a little experiment. A little experiment. Do a little photo clinic, like Mayo Clinic. Do a photo clinic. All right. And see what happens. Yeah. There you go. There you have it. 2048, sRGB, and JPEG. Hashtag 2048. And no retouching. No retouching.